Ace money to name, getting paid for the game. My goal is to help you get that money by sharing my picks, as well as some useful knowledge and betting techniques. Now, while we go over this recap, I'd like to get right into these picks so we can get in and out like a B&E with handicappers. So it's a SBR, Sportsbook Robbery. Anthony from Sportsbook Robbery. It is Tuesday, May 28th, 2024. We, uh, we got one game on the slate. Uh, Celtics took the game last night, swept the paces, ended up, uh, you know, just how we kind of all figured. Um, so we got they're in the finals, obviously. We got one more. Hopefully, you know, hopefully the Wolves pull it off tonight so we get a couple more games out this season. But uh, I don't know. ESPN's given Mavericks uh, almost 70% chance to take this. I think it's like 60, 64, 65. Uh, we'll see what happens. Timberwolves are, are the dogs still, plus three and a half. They opened up at, you can find, um plus two right now. Uh, Mavs minus three and a half, obviously. Minus two, minus one and a half, you can find them. Over under 209, we opened up at, you can find it up to 211, as low as 210 and a half. Uh, then plus 136, Wolves opened up at, and Mavs opened up at minus 162. We'll find them at plus 110 and uh, minus 120, 130, 120, 120, 120 on FanDuel for the maps. Um, who knows what's going to happen? You got two of the best closes out there with uh, Luca and, and Irving. Uh, this, I know this isn't a game seven, but Kyrie is undefeated in game sevens goes off, um, can kind of consider this a fake game seven, trying to trying to end them, trying to end them at home, this way to get some rest too. Maybe, uh, either way, they're going to get some rest, but uh rather get some rest anyway, like sooner rest, you know what I mean? The uh, finals don't start to the sixth, I think. But, uh yeah, so it should be a good game. I'm, I'm, you know, if uh, Edwards turns it up and, and and tries to play like like this could be the last game, like it is for the year, and you know, as all the players contribute and and Cat uh, Carl Anthony Towns stops throwing up threes. Uh, you don't have to be a, be a jump shot, you know, three pointer. You're not Steph Curry, seven foot tall, getting that paint. And now that Lively's out, come on, you got the twin towers. Get over there, get in that paint, and make something happen. You know what I mean? Like, come on. I understand, like, it's fun to shoot threes and all that. But use your size advantage. Get some switches, get some post ups, get some lobs, get some dunks. But uh, who am I? I'm no basketball coach. But uh, yeah, I'm kind of leaning Mavericks. Uh, the over. And um, hmm. Kind of could go under. <laughs> nah, I ain't going to go under. Not a 210. I'm thinking they're going to be a lot of defense, though. You know, defense causes stops, which obviously helps win championships. But, uh, all right, let's move on to these player props. Took up enough of your time. Cheer. All right, all right. For this first play, I'm going Mike Conley points over 12 and a half. Uh, they got it at plus 124 on DraftKings right now. All the way down to minus 120. Definitely a line shop. Uh, injuries, we still got Lively out. Uh has been on, on GTD. Game time decisions, but he'll play. 
Uh, no other changes other than that. Uh, Conley's numbers keep going up and down. 11, it opened at 11 and a half, then it jumped to 12 and a half. It was just at 11 and a half. I took it at 12 and a half last night. If they had it at 11 and a half for the minus 120, they had it before. I would have took that. So maybe wait for that to happen. I uh, still think he's going to go over 12 and a half. He, uh, last two games, he's gone over this. He's a little injured. He's got a strained Achilles or something like that. But uh, it's game time. They, they need him. And uh, I believe he's going to go over this. He's going to have to be aggressive. And, uh, you know, he's a veteran with experience. And uh, he's going to need to go over this. So we got Conley over 12 and a half. Look for the 11 and a half. Uh, I was going to all line it back last night, but it was way too juiced for the amount that I bet. So uh, if you're betting more, all line it back. Always all line it back. All right, so we got Conley over 12 and a half. All right, play number two. We're going Edwards over six and a half assists. Uh, I got it on DraftKings last night. It's up to plus one with six on FanDuel. Um, gone over this the last four games. He's doing pretty well with his assist. Uh, I mean, he's, his scoring's been going up the last couple games. But uh, you can tell he, he's young and he's inexperienced in these positions. Uh, kind of like, you know, deer in the headlights in a couple situations. You're starting to notice, at least I am, different situations now that, uh, I mean, it could be tied to, I think it's all the above. Uh, potential assists, last game he had nine, which is crazy. I guess they hit all the shots because he had nine assists. But a uh, game before that, 15, 17, 13. He's averaging about 10. Uh, he's going to need to be aggressive as well as when they double team him and close him out. He's got to make the right decision, make it fast, and give it to somebody. And he should go over this. Uh, he's been going over this. So hopefully they go over this. Yeah, Edwards over six and a half assists. Like I always say, if you could all line it back, all line it back. Especially if your unit size is more, as so you can afford to pay the juice. Uh, it's definitely worth it. All right. I'd like to take this time and ask you if you could like the video. For my new viewers, please subscribe and uh, turn the notifications on. You get my videos instantly, as well as uh, I drop a lot of live bets in uh, the community to come up as posts and uh, you got to get them quick and get them in quick because the lines change, the odds change. And uh, yeah, like I said, if you could like, uh, also comment or you can write anything, which team you want, uh, how you doing, what do you think I should change, uh, anything. The, the likes and the comments help get the videos out there. Uh, I've been doing this a little over a month, maybe a month and a half now for YouTube. And, uh, you know, I'm at like 108 subscribers, like 108. I don't know how many I'm at, 108. And uh, I just feel like if the video gets out there to more people, uh, get more subscribers. But, uh, yeah, so I appreciate it. appreciate everyone who has commented, liked, and subscribed. And let's get them money. All right, so we got Jaden McDaniels, three-pointers, over one and a half. Took it on DraftKings, uh, plus 160, 165. Line shot, because they got it all the way down to plus 119, 127 on other books. So definitely find the best odds. Uh, one and a half threes, right? So most of his points are three-pointers. Now, the other game, the 24th, we played him for his points. I even bumped him up to 20. Uh, 
he had like two points. We played in the first quarter that day too, and uh, he killed us. I actually did a parlay that day. I parlayed all my bets. Every bet hit except for his 20 points. It was crazy. But, uh, yeah, he shoots. Uh, if he's on, he's on. If he's going to miss it, he's going to miss it. You know what I mean? I know that sounds crazy, but uh, he's shooting almost 50% from three-point. Like I said, most of his shots are threes. And uh, he could go over this right in the first quarter. Last game he had three. Like I said, the game before that, he, he didn't have any. Six the game before that, three, three. So uh, he's definitely capable of doing it. And it's They got their back against the wall. Uh, he's going to be in there because his defense and stuff anyway. And uh, the shooter's going to shoot. So I, I expect him to go over this. Jaden McDaniels, three pointers over one and a half. Good plus mine. The sixth man of the year, Nas Reed, over 12 and a half points. Uh, a little bit of line movement up and down, over at 12, 13 and a half, went, uh, went back to 12. Took the last night at 12 and a half. Uh, 118, DraftKings, all the way up to 138 on FanDuel. Gone over this the last three games. Uh, numbers a little higher than normal. We've been taking it at like nine and a half, ten. So it's an important game. They bumped it up. Uh, we could all line it back. I know I'm like a broken record. If, uh, you know, it's not too much juice for your unit size. Uh, shooting 50, nearly 50% from the field, 42% from three-point, a little over 70 from the foul line. Uh, these are threes. He's taking quite a few threes a game. As well as uh, he's averaging almost 10 shots a game. But, uh, yeah, he's been going over this. You know, he comes off the bench, and he's not the sixth man of the year for nothing. Head to head, he's cashed his 60%, hit this 60% of the time. Uh, last five games, 60% for the year, over 50. It's a very important game. They're going to need him. And uh, I think he's going to smash it. I think he's going to have, like, a 20-point game, to be honest. Excuse me, sorry. But, uh, yeah, so 12 and a half points over. And if you could, all line it back, all line it back. Uh, Nasri. Let's play. I'm going uh, Irvin over two and a half threes. We got him at a uh, little plus money, almost even, plus one or two. Um,. Hit three last game, 40 game before. Head to head, he's 80% hit rate. Last five games, 60%. Last 20, 60%. For the year, 60%. Uh, like I said earlier, this isn't a closeout game. But uh, it's a fake closeout game. You know, they could, they could put him away today. Uh, three points, he's shooting 50% from three. So that's pretty crazy. Um, yeah, I expect him to go over this. Might not hit it. I mean, shoot, last game we normally play, as you already know, uh, we play his first quarter under. Five, it moved bumped back up to five and a half like it used to be. And then uh, he had two free throws, and then bam, he hit a three. And like 20 seconds before the quarter ended, he hit, hit a, a two. So, yeah, so he went over it, obviously. So that's twice in the last couple games that he went over that. And these are very important games. So uh, I wised up and I faded it this time. You know, it might be the time he hits it, but we cashed it so many times that, you know, it's a smart thing to do would be to fade that right now. Uh, Three-pointers, you know, 
he could go over this. Like I said, he had one in the first quarter last time. He obviously ended with three. I feel like it's going to be a close game, and uh, and he's going to go off. He's going to hit the – we're going to cash him. Uh, there was a couple other plays I liked. Uh, I'm going to wait to live bet him. DraftKings don't have him out right now. And uh, we got him at some other books, but uh, – I don't really mess with them. Uh, one of them that we've been playing is, you guys already know, is Kyle Anderson, his points. And uh, I've been live betting some other things with him sometimes. Uh, assists or rebounds or something like that. We'll see what happens. But uh, they got it at five and a half right now. When the game starts, they might drop it down. That's what usually happens. So if we can get it a little lower than that, I'm going to take it. As well as Josh, uh, Jaden Hardy, he's been doing really well off the bench and uh, for the Mavs. And uh, they got it bumped up to five and a half. It's usually been at like four. So during the game, live bet before he gets on the floor, I'm sure it'll drop down. I'm going to take it. I'll drop them in the community. And, uh, and any other live bet I see. You already know, ain't smarter the name, getting paid for the game. I appreciate it, y'all.